Okay, assalamu alaikum my brothers and sisters, welcome back. Uh, we are going to discuss about trigonometric one, which is form two concept of mathematics. Remember, we will be also learning uh, trigonometric two in form three and trigonometric three in form four. Don't forget that. Okay, uh, here in form two, basically, we are going to do a uh, mathematics concept of trigonometric, which is based on what? Complementary angles. So, for this case now, we will not be given range, okay? But in form, form four, Will be given what range okay and in form 3 we'll be talking about the unit circle okay now for your information let's see how this concept is framed during a national exam okay let's go make sure you have your calculator make sure you have what your calculator okay okay let's see the first example this is example one look here your turn given that we are told given that given that sine 90 minus x in bracket degree is equal to 0 0.8 comma where x is an acute angle where x is an acute an acute angle an acute angle okay comma you are told find find without using mathematical tables find without using find without using mathematical tables That you see mathematical tables, mathematical tables, the value of tan x, mathematical tables, the value of tan x, tan x, okay? Now, if you are not going to use the mathematical table, then we must use what the calculator for your information. Solution here we have uh, sine into 90 minus x degree is equal to 0 0.8. So what you're going to do is here we have a value of an angle in the bracket, and here we have what a decimal number. So we will get sine inverse of this one, okay? We are going to say, look here, let's get the sine inverse. You're going to say sine 90 minus x is equal to the sine inverse of 0 0.8. When you're saying sine inverse, it is shift sine, yeah? Shift sine 0 0.8. So that will give me, and uh, I will have 90 minus x is equal to 53 point, sorry, 51, 53, yes. 53.13, okay? So I'll take this one to the other side, okay? You will have, or you can say 90 minus, take this one to this side and take x to the other side. 50 minus 53.13 is equal to x. x therefore is equal to, look here, x will be 90 minus the answer. Okay? x is equal to 30, 36.87, okay? Degree. That's 6.87, okay? But you are told what? You are told to get tan x. Therefore, therefore, tan x is equal to tan this value. That's 6.87. So that will give me 0 0.75, okay? 0 0.75. After getting the value of x, you're going to say tan x, you are done. Okay? That's how you're going to get. So if you have if you have sine here, say sine inverse to get the angle here. Okay, here we have 0 0.8. So get the angle which is corresponding to 0 0.8. That will be what? 53.13. When you say shift sine 0 0.18. Okay? Now let's see our example two. Example two. Let us see our example two, guys. 
we have here another question really like this look here okay given that given that the total three theta three theta is an acute angle is an acute angle and sign your total and sign sine 3 theta is equal to cos 2 theta comma your total find find the value of theta the value of theta full stop you are told given that 3 theta theta is the angle I don't forget it's an acute angle, an angle less than 90 degree. And sine 3 theta is equal to cos 2 theta. Remember, in form 2 concept, we will not have what you normally call range. So the moment you have trigonometric expression or equation which has a range, we are dealing with a trigonometric or form 2 concept. Don't forget that. So now, and remember we say that trigonometric uh, questions of uh, of uh, trigonometric equations of form 2 are, are sums up, the coin sums up up to 90 degrees. So we're going to say, look at solution. We are going to say 3 theta plus uh, 3 theta plus 2 theta is equal to 90, okay? In bracket, complementary angles. Complementary angles, okay? Complementary angles. Therefore, it will be 5 theta is equal to 90. To get theta, then divide here 5, divide here also 5. So theta is equal to 90 divided by 5 is what? 18. Very easy. They are complementary means they add, and you are told to get the value of what? Theta. And that will be 18 uh, degree for your information, yeah? Let's go ahead. Let's see the third example, okay? Let us see example three of this concept, so that you understand better. Okay, let's see example three. Don't forget that actually what you are dealing with is uh, something concerning about trigonometric of form two. So we are dealing basically with the complementary angles. Okay. Uh, look at this one. We are told given that. Given that. Given that sine x plus 60 degree is equal to cos 2x, comma, find, find tan, tan, open the bracket, x plus 60, okay, x plus 60 degree. Such question will carry what? Will carry two max, okay, or three max. But we still know that these angles are what? Are complementary. So we are going to say, they say the sign eh, x into 60, x plus 60 degree is equal to what? Cos of this one. So we are going to say, we are going to say x plus 60 plus 2x is equal to 90. This one, complementary angles. Complementary angles just understand this these are complementary angles angles that adds up to 90 degree so add this will be 3x plus 60 is equal to 90 take this one to the other side 3x is equal to 90 minus 60 so 3x is equal to that divide both sides by 3 to get the value of x cancel so x is equal to 10 x is equal to 10 then we want to get tan x plus 60 degree so it will be tan into 10 plus 60 so it will be tan into 70 okay get your calculator tan 70 tan 70 it is 2.748 2.748 okay that will be the final answer again. Don't forget that. So these ones are very easy. They are complementary. But you must know the easier ones, okay? 
those ones are easy so that you go for the harder ones okay in form four and form three don't worry about that this is it form four concept don't worry i will make sure to exhaust my energy until you realize that you have understood this thing so this is how you're going to solve let me add another example i'll give you more examples so you understand better this thing yeah? let's go to example four let's go to example four okay example four I'll give you more than five so that you understand better. Let's go to example four. Okay. Uh, let's see this one. We are told, given that, this is example four. Example what? Example four, don't forget. So you are told, given that, given that, x degree is equal to 3 out of 7 comma you are told find cos into 90 minus x okay degree given the answer given the answer given the answer to four significant figures, to four significant figures. So let's come to the solution again. Let's come to the solution. We still know that, let's first get the value of this one. Okay, we're going to say three divided by seven, okay? Let me write x degree is equal to what? Three out of seven. So let's say three divided by seven. So this will give me which is equal to what? 0.4286 okay let me get an okay uh, let me get the cost of this one okay the cost of this one shift cost answer it will be 64 just understand yeah 64 so this one in angle form it will be 64.62 yeah, degree. So you are told find cos. Find cos. Sorry. Sorry, here yeah, we have sorry. Tan x, yeah. I apologize. Tan x. Given that, look here, yeah, sorry, I apologize. Uh, given that tan x degree is equal to this one so what are we going to do sorry i apologize i've forgotten that one so it will make a cool sense now you are told given that tan x is equal to 3 out of 7 find cos 90 minus x in bracket given given what the answer to four significant figures what are we going to do let's get a turn of that okay we know that tan x is equal to 3 out of 7 which is equal to what uh, which is equal to 3 divided by 7 which is also equal to this one in this small point will be 0 0.4286 okay let me get tan inverse okay tan inverse means I'm looking for the angle shift tan answer it will be is equal to 23 23.8 uh 199 okay 23.199 okay then see i can get see i can say like this cos into 90 minus x therefore will be cos open the bracket 90 minus 23.199 okay close the bracket so it will be 90 minus the final answer that is cos into 66.80. So cos of that will give us what? 0 0.3939, which is equal to 0 0.3939, okay? 3939. Are you getting that? Yes, understand. Let me go back, yeah? We are told given that tan x is what? 3 out of 7. Find cos into 90 minus x. 
giving the answer to four significant figures. So write tan x is equal to 3 out of sorry. This is written in decimal form, it will be 0 0.4286. So get the angle. When you want to get the angle, you're going to say shift tan. Shift tan uh, 0 0.4286. It will give us a 23.199. But here you are told to find cos, open the bracket 90 minus x, and this x value. So you're going to say cos into 90 minus this value. Okay? It is there. So cos uh, 66.80. That will give us what 0 0.3939 uh, 39 for your information, guys. The final example, so that you understand better this thing before we proceed to form three and form four concept. My friends, make sure you watch these videos because I'm giving you the concept of mathematics in a chronological manner, so that you understand things yeah from the base. Okay. Let's see this one. Given that, this is example five. Example five. You're told given that given that given that sine two x is equal to cos open the bracket three x minus ten close the bracket degree find tan x you are told find tan x comma Correct to four significant figures, okay? Correct to four significant figures. I uh, remember we're still dealing with complementary angles, yeah? Just understand that. Remember, we have, we say, they said what? Sine 2x is equal to cos, open the bracket, 3x minus 10, close the bracket, degree, yeah? But we still know that these are complementary angles, yeah? So we're going to say 2x plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 90, okay? It's equal to 90. Why? Complementary angles. Complementary angles, okay? Complementary angles. Don't be that. So it will be 5x minus 10 is equal to 90. Take this one to the other side. 5x is equal to 90 plus 10, yeah? So 5x is equal to 100. All of 5, all of 5, cancel. x is equal to 10, yeah? x is equal to 20. But they are told to find tan x. Therefore, tan x is equal to tan the value of x which is 20. Yeah? So we are going to say tan 20 is what? 0 0.34. Yeah? 0 0.3640. Zero, yeah? To four significant figures, we will have this one. Okay? 0 0.364. Yeah? That will be the final answer for your information, guys. Okay, and that's how you're going to tell questions from concept of trigonometric of form two. But when we reach form three, we are going to work with what? All student check chemistry. Okay, all student check chemistry. Likewise, in form four, we will also work under that principle. All student check chemistry, where we'll be given lens. Don't worry about that. I will even solve questions that will go into quadratic. Yeah, don't worry about that. Yeah. I'll try my best. And of course, uh, uh, guys, make sure you go for this concept first, like just this one. Okay? Once you capture this one, I'm sure you'll not encounter a problem ahead of us. Otherwise, I wish you the best. Make sure you subscribe, yeah? Don't be greedy. People are actually stranded and isolated at home level due to COVID 19, you know that. Particularly, uh, people of Nairobi, yeah? Make sure you share with them. Those people who are living in Islam, particularly our community, Somali community, yeah? Okay? Otherwise, have a nice day.